What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how I built Flappy Bird in Minecraft from this video. You can only build this on Creative, and this is for Bedrock Edition because I haven't tested if it works on Java yet, so let's get into it. So first you're going to need a place to build it, so I just remade the build from the video. And then you're going to need a barrier, so you're going to type in slash give at s barrier. And then that's how you get the barrier. And then you're going to go to this corner and go three blocks up and then place the barriers like this. And then you're going to get a solid block, which I use a sea lantern, a lever, a redstone and a redstone lamp. And then you're going to go to this block right here and then place or break these blocks or not that block actually. Just that block, and then the sea lantern right here. Then you're gonna put the redstone lamp right here. And this is just for decoration, but I put another sea lantern right there. And you're gonna face like this, and then place a lever right here. And then underneath of it, you're gonna get a command block, which you can get by typing uh, slash give as uh, command underscore block oh, block and then you'll get the command that's how you get the command block and you'll place it right here and then type summon chicken and then you're gonna put the name of the chicken which we're gonna go with make it flappy and then you're gonna go to the barriers right here and then write down the coordinates so these coordinates are 39 or negative 39 negative 55 and negative 77 so if you go back to the command block you write negative 39 negative 55 and negative 77 and then what that'll do is once you press this, it'll spawn in a chicken, or the flappy bird, right here in the barriers. And then you can place a barrier right here. Then you're gonna place a sign right here that says start, because this is going, uh, that's gonna start it, and then Right here, you're gonna put an off sign because once you press that, it's going to turn it off. And then you're gonna break this block. Place a command block for later. We're not gonna put anything in it yet. And then place redstone dust right here. And then we're gonna put a block there, a redstone torch, and another block here. And then, uh, put a command block and then make it set it to repeat and then type tp at e and then put the name of the and then put name equals and then put what you named it which is flappy and then we're gonna put the coordinates zero negative 100 just anywhere like in the void so that the flappy bird disappears and it doesn't drop any items so whenever we press this should spawn it and then whenever we do this it disappears and also in the top left corner it says what the commands say and if you don't want it to do that which it gets annoying is you type slash game a game rule command block output and then set it to false and then now whenever we spawn it it's just there and it doesn't say anything in chat okay i forgot to cover this up but yeah you can do that then uh we're gonna go over to this wall and then break all of those blocks right there and then we're going to uh, extend it a block like that I 
that's fine. And then we're gonna go up one block, place three command blocks, then place three uh, solid blocks, and then two more, uh, two more command blocks, and then cover that up. And then in, in all of them, this is going to take a little while. You're going to put summon slime for the pipe squiggly negative one. Or like if you look at this X coordinate, it's like this. So whenever I go forward a block, I do it, it goes down one. So I'm going to put negative one then squiggly 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 and another squiggly and then spawn underscore small and then the name of it which i'm just gonna put pipe and then that's going to spawn in a small slime for the pipe and then we're gonna put it in all of them you know so if you you can pause if you need to i'm gonna skip through this part okay then you're gonna go back here and then get some glass and then you're going to place it like this in a and then like that uh, so just like that and then you're going to place some redstone along like that then you're going to do that like place glass like this you can break that and you're going to place two redstone dust like this and then you're gonna get a piston and stuff like that like target block and like hopper and then we're gonna build an etho hopper clock so i put one piston here another here I'm gonna place a hopper shift place it there break it and then place another hopper like this and then you're going to place two comparators like that and then with redstone dust and then a target block and then once we put a redstone block here then uh we're going to place another one here so it doesn't like move because we don't want it to and then we're going to take four items and put it into this hopper like that Oh, I think it just, yeah, it just spawned a bunch of slimes, don't, don't worry about that, Here, I'm just gonna, uh, so then we're going to, and then we're going to go over here, and then place the command block right here that, put it to repeat, and then make it say tp at e, name, equals and then the name of the obstacle which i did pipe and then zero into the void so negative 100 and then zero so now whenever this is off it'll teleport the slimes into the void and then we're gonna get the coordinate of this redstone block so it's negative 23 negative 60 because we're gonna go one below because we're standing on top of it and then negative 72 so if we go over here and then put a command that says uh, fail negative 23 negative 60 and, and negative 72 then the same thing again so negative 23 negative 60 negative 72 
and then redstone underscore block. Okay. And then in this command block that we put down over here, we're going to put fill. Like the same thing, but instead of a redstone block, we're going to use air. So negative 72, negative 23, negative 60, negative 72, and air. So that way, whenever we turn it on, the clock will turn on. So when we press this, the redstone block goes, and then the slimes spawn in. But we don't want that right now, so when we turn it on, they all disappear. Okay. We're gonna go to the opposite side of these commands and then put the put command blocks. So like that. One, two, three, three blocks up, and then two more. And then on all of them you're gonna make it repeat and always active. And it's gonna be repetitive like before. But we're, you're gonna put TP at E name equals pipe and then comma r equals one and then into the void so zero negative one hundred zero and then you're gonna I'm gonna speed this up but again you can pause. You have to go over here to this side. Well or anywhere really. But I just put it right here. Make it repeat and always active. And then this is going to make it fly. This is like our last step almost. So execute E and then name equals pi then run TP at E name equals pi just the object again the pi uh and then we're gonna put it squiggly negative 0 0.5 which is gonna go this way whatever direction this way is for you so for me it's negative and then squiggly and then squiggly and then finally the last like oh i missed that up and then the last command is going to be the one that kills the chicken whenever the pipe makes contact with it. Or the, yeah, so it's going to be execute at, at E and then name equals pipe. And then it's gonna and then run TP at E and then name equals pipe or wait no not pipe name equals flappy and then R equals one and then to the void so zero negative one hundred zero and that's the last command so you just gotta like cover up those and that should be it done let me turn it on it doesn't work over here the the reason why it's not working i just realized is because there needs to be and in this command block where it teleports it, there needs to be an R equals 
for the radius 0 0.01 and now it should be working let's see so yeah okay now now it's working okay this is how you make a flappy bird in minecraft how i did it in the video